Next question is from Progman2012. How do you know when it's time to reverse diet? That's a really good question. Yeah, so, so for the audience that's listening right now, a reverse diet literally means you're slowly increasing your calories with the intention of speeding up your metabolism, building muscle, um, and getting to a point to where then you can cut calories from a higher calorie percentage or higher calorie point, so it's easier to burn body fat. So to give you an example, it'd be like a, a woman, let's say her her if she had to eat 1,500 calories a day in order to stay the same weight. Well, we could cut her down to 1,200, but not much lower you can go than that. Or I could reverse diet her and add strength training, get her to the point where her body's burning now 2,200 calories. Now I've got room to go when I cut that person. But I guess the, yeah, but the question, of course, is how do I know? When's a good time? To reverse I, I have a, you know, I have something for that. But first, I'm going to make a statement that's a total overgeneralization, but it, I think for the majority, it stands that I, I think most people should start here, regardless of your goal, regard whether it's to to build muscle, to stay this, maintain, just increase performance, or you know, for sure, yeah. lose body fat. Uh, I think most people, if especially if you haven't been tracking, you haven't been really doing anything consistently with your diet as far as being regimen, uh, I think one of the first things that you should do is to reverse diet. Most people, we naturally do this thing where we, um, you know, we uh, res we don't eat for long periods of time, and then we 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 splurge. We don't eat, we splurge, and there's not a lot of consistency with the way you're eating. And doing a real good structured reverse diet kind of gives you that. And in my experience, almost every client that I've ever trained, uh, when we first evaluate uh, their calorie intake especially my women, are almost always eating relatively low. Even if these, I'm looking at a client that's 100 pounds overweight, you know, most of them have already tried dieting uh, themselves so many times that they, they've actually slowed down their metabolism and they're at a very low calorie intake. And my goal was always this. So I would tell them, listen, my goal is to, to slowly increase calories into your diet while also manipulating and changing your programming so that, you know, those extra calories get partitioned over to building muscle and they don't get stored as fat. But my goal is to do that until you get to a point where you where you go from somebody who just kind of eats a few times a day to where you look at me and go like, Adam, Adam this is becoming a job. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm tired of eating this much. Mm -hmm. You've got me eating so much. I don't want to eat this much. What and, a great position. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's exactly where I want a client who needs to lose weight to get. Because if I get them there, then when I say, all right, excellent. Now, Susie, I want you to drop one meal. She's like, oh, thank God. Yeah. And yeah. then what does she get? She gets these great results right away because I've now re naturally cut out three, 400 calories. I think this is going to be such a big uh, story in mainstream uh, you know, science and nutrition science. Uh, the that the body has this incredible ability to become more or less efficient with calories. And that can equate to a lot. Like you could take somebody who's a POW and when they take these people who've been, you know, in a camp or, or in prison for a long period of time, fed very, very little, their body's adapted to be able to, to operate on incredibly low calories. You can also reverse diet people and get them to burn. I've had female clients, no joke, where we do this process and we get them to burn 800 more calories a day mm -hmm. uh, and they're burning body fat while they're eating 800 more calories a day. I mean, it's crazy the body's capacity to do this. So this is actually a very valuable strategy. It just takes time. Yeah. So it's not you don't lose weight right away when you do it this way. You got it's like you're it's like you're setting yourself up for the fat loss, right? You're setting yourself up for the big fat loss and then you're setting yourself up to make it more permanent or easier to stick with cuz you know, if you're eating a ton now, cutting from there is easy. If you're not eating that much now, cutting from there is really, really hard. And that's well, rare. Yeah. I mean, how many times did you guys remember getting – I remember literally, I could count on one hand, how many times I got the really overweight client who sat down and I said, be completely honest, tell me everything you eat. And they're like, so I had you know McDonald's for breakfast, and then I had this milkshake in the afternoon, and then I had a, a large pizza to myself, and then and they're eating like 7,000 yeah. bad calories. You, like, there are people like that. Yeah, there are. Yeah. They exist. I mean, like I said, a handful of them I've trained in, in the you know two decades of training clients, and mm -hmm. I tell you what, those are the easiest. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you just change, oh, just reduce. Yeah, yeah, you just change <laughs> yeah. some of those choices, and yeah. all of a sudden they they just weight falls off them. But that's not what most people hire me because they've already been trying this shit on their own for many years mm -hmm. and have failed, and they're they're lost. They're like, listen, Adam, this is what I eat. 
Why am I still overweight? I don't understand. And so the first thing that I have to do with them is to reverse diet them and then slow. And it's, you know, I would love to see it take off. I would love to see this being the way that like trainers take on a new client. Like this is the protocol. This is to really build up the metabolism to take them through this process of, you know, like paying attention to the timing of their, their eating to, to really ramp it to a point where, like you said, this is, this is a bit much. This is like a chore. And now, even if the goal is to lose weight and to lose body fat, we're in such a better position mm-hmm. long term than we were starting out. And I think that it really is the biggest barrier is psychological. Like, yeah, for sure. People, yes. people just don't want to hear that because it because they already have these expectations coming in that they want to just shed everything off. Dude, you get a client who's like, I'm going to hire you for 30 sessions. I want to lose 20 pounds. You're like, okay, we're not going to lose any weight for four months. For four months, the goal is to speed up your metabolism. That's a hard sell. You have to be a very confident trainer, um, and you have to be able to explain yourself very well. But it's a much better strategy. Here's the bottom line. The bottom line is we don't move much, but we're also busy. And there's a lot of food all around us. Yeah. So you're better off with a faster metabolism. Now, for hunter-gatherers, and there's not a lot of food around us, I'd be like, don't make your metabolism faster. You need to be able to survive on a little bit of calories. Mm-hmm. But that's not the way you know we live today. Today, if you have a very, very fast metabolism, you are at an advantage, and reverse dieting helps uh, make that happen. But it does need to be programmed with a good workout that's, hel- that's geared towards uh, muscle building.